Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just got ready for the day, just got Kenzie down for her nap. She went down kind of late today, but I always get ready during her nap usually. So in the morning I wake up when she does and then we just kind of slowly wake up together, play outside in the morning, do our thing. And then in the afternoon when she goes down for her nap, then I eat lunch and get ready. But she only naps for an hour. I know some kids her age take like three hour naps during the afternoon, which is so crazy to me. She always naps for usually exactly an hour. So by the time I eat lunch and get ready, she's pretty much waking up. And so that's all I do during her nap. So I've been thinking about trying to get up before her in the mornings and just getting all ready and stuff. That way I have extra time during nap to work or get stuff done. It's gonna be hard because I'm not a morning person, but I'm thinking about trying it this week, so we'll see. Comment below and let me know if you guys get up when your kids do and sleep until the last second or if you like to get up and get all ready and stuff before if you stay at home. Obviously, if you're working outside of the home, that's different, but. So I'm gonna share some random stuff with you guys. I have just a day in the life vlog, mom life, stuff I have to get done inside, cleaning, that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna share Kenzie's like current toy setup as well because I've been getting asked about that a lot, so I'll share our current setup and some of her favorite things and then some of my favorite recent purchases too. It is a beautiful but very, very windy day today, but oh my goodness, it couldn't be any prettier. The sky is just gorgeous. Maybe I'll take Ken's to the park or something when she wakes up. But we went to the zoo yesterday and that was super fun and tomorrow we're taking her to this like butterfly exhibit thing and she's gonna freak. I'm so excited. She's just starting to like notice and get into butterflies out and about and stuff. So it's at a really pretty conservatory and there's just gonna be like hundreds of butterflies flying all over the place and she's gonna love it. I can't wait. This is very, very random, but I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys have any dreams like that you have a recurring dream and it's always like a bad dream, but it's the same dream just in a different version a little bit. Like little details about it will be different, but the dream is the same. So I have two that I keep having and I've had the one for years. The one that I have had for years is that I'm like failing school. Like it's this very vivid thing where it's like the end of the year and I'm not gonna pass by like a point or something. And I have this nightmare over and over. Like I'm not gonna get to graduate like high school on time. It's so weird, but I have that dream like at least once a month I feel like. But then the past probably six months or something i've had this dream where i'm like out somewhere and i like realize that kenzie is home alone and i just like freak out like i have a baby monitor on my phone or something and i'll be like checking my phone and see that she's like awake and home alone and it's like the most just irrational like impractical craziest thing like she would never be home alone it just doesn't make any sense but i have this like nightmare where she's alone and I like can't get to her and I know that she's like awake at home alone it's really random I know but I'm just wondering if anybody else has like recurring nightmares because I feel like I have those two all the time and it's so weird and I'm always just in this sheer panic and I like wake up freaking out I shared these sandals when I got them from Target a couple months ago and I have to say they're like my favorite most reach for pair of shoes this summer they're so comfortable this little bit of like cushion here makes such a big difference because i have so many pairs of flip-flops and stuff that are just extremely flat and these are so so comfortable they were only like 15 dollars at target i'm gonna see if they still have them online but i almost want to grab another pair like just in case anything happens to these because they're my favorite they are so comfy if you're a mom and you just need like an easy sandal that matches basically everything i love these Okay, it's time to clean up this disaster of a kitchen. I still have Kenzie's lunch mess over there. There's all kinds of stuff on the counter over here. Sink needs to be cleaned out. Dishes to be done. Here we go.
Kenzie girl is downstairs playing with my grandma right now. For those of you who don't know, she lives like two minutes away from us, so she just stops by randomly throughout the week. So they're downstairs playing right now, and she just came from the grocery store, and she brought Kenzie these cute little shoes. She said she found these at Kroger. So they look like little baby Crocs. They're so cute, and I was actually wanting to get her a pair of Crocs anyway. But these are really cute. Um, she got her a 5 to 6 T, so I think I'm going to swap them out, though. She'll need a 7 to 8, I think. So I might go do that in a little bit, exchange these, and then I want to look at flowers anyway, so I was planning on going to Kroger anyway. We need some new flowers for our planters on the deck. I got some a few months back, but then we had a cold front in May, and they kind of bit the dust, so I need to replace those. I just found these little fake parking ticket card things. I was cleaning out our nightstand doors that I got for Robbie when we were probably like probably like 16 or something right when we first started driving I'm guessing so they're like over 10 years old I remember ordering these thinking they were so funny oh. hey Graham I'm organizing Robbie's drawer uh -huh. you want a parking ticket to give to somebody parking ticket yeah I need a bunch of these okay how about uh. this one you park like an idiot Nah, that's not bad enough. That's not bad enough? Hmm. Like this one? What's it say? That's not good. I gotta go get glass. I, I hope you're having a lovely day. Just a quick note to let you know you park like an a-hole. Uh-huh, I'll take that one. Okay. What's this one say? I can, I miss this it. one says, I bet you screw as poorly as you park. Oh, I like that one. Okay, I'm going to share Kenzie's little toy setup upstairs and then I'll show you downstairs as well. So we don't really keep any toys in her room and that's how I like it. So I have a little setup upstairs in our family room and then the majority is downstairs but upstairs we use this organizer from target it's my favorite i've shared it so many times in videos and on instagram i'll link it below it's like around 30 dollars, and it just snaps together and i feel like it looks really nice my favorite part about this is just that the bins come out so if we want to go outside or something and take some toys out we can just grab a bin which is super convenient so upstairs currently um we have all of her doll stuff her doll supplies are like her most used Toy right now I would say she loves to play with her doll in her high chair and crib and take care of the doll so the doll supplies are like a most used item then she just got this little ice cream set to make different ice cream cones and she's been using that a lot she also uses all of her little figurines a bunch so we have animal ones in there and like Barbies in the bottom up here we have her little Melissa and Doug magnetic fishing game that she loves cars this little puppy that she pulls around and a ball from one of her love every boxes we have this little drawing board that we got for vacation for the airplane she really likes this too some of her stuffed animals and then this puzzle from amazon that she loves so then over here we just have the doll crib doll high chair her little pink castle we use this a bunch too that's from sam's club and i would say that's one of her most played with items and then in this basket we have her big blocks Okay, so this is her main playroom downstairs. Um, this is where the majority of her toys are. So we have a few of these organizers from Target. These are our absolute favorite. I really believe that the best storage for kids toys is having this kind of open shelving. So we have two of these four by two, and then the one in the middle is just two by two. So absolutely love this setup. I think it's the perfect amount and I like how it fills out this wall really nicely. And then she has her bookshelf over here. I moved her little piano downstairs just because I like to move toys around for her just to switch things up. So it was upstairs in the family room, but just wanted to switch it up and move it down here. We have some dolls and stuff in this bin over here. And then over here, she just got this a couple days ago. My mother-in-law gave it to us. It was my sister-in-law's growing up so it's like a 90s barbie dollhouse it's so cute so i cleaned it up really good the other day and she just got some new little barbies and stuff for it so she's been loving playing with this over here we have our favorite thing which is our bounce house so i'll inflate it and show you guys what it looks like and i'll link the exact one down below it was a quarantine slash winter amazon purchase and literally the best money we've ever spent if you have an active child this is like the best thing when you're stuck inside but we use it seriously every single day um so absolutely love our bounce house i'll inflate that in a sec i'm thinking about turning this little um storage area like under the stairs storage into a cute little like playhouse for her but right now it just stores random toys like i usually have that walker and just other bigger toys stored in there 
but she pulled it out and then she has this little toy chest that she got for her birthday and one of her love every toys i'm gonna go ahead and inflate the bounce house for you i'm not sure if it's gonna be loud on camera though so so this is the full playroom absolutely love it we spend so much time down here and I think it's so cute. If you're thinking about getting a bounce house, highly recommend. Okay, our favorite summertime sensory activity lately has been playing with colored water out on the deck with like random Tupperware containers and stuff. So I just get an assortment of plastic containers that we don't use anymore. I'll do like our long rectangular one, a bunch of little square ones. I get like an ice cube tray, measuring cups, just random like kitchen supplies and make different colored water in them. And Kenzie will just sit and hang out on the deck for like an hour playing with all the different colored water and like mixing them up, making different colors. She'll use like the dropper and the cups to like move, them, move the colors to the ice cube tray. If you have a kid who's like around one and a half or two, they will love this. I like the neon food coloring pack because it has pink and all the good colors. This isn't one that I would buy to eat, but she's not gonna eat it. So it's very easy really minimal mess super easy to clean up because you just dump it out but it will hopefully buy you like an hour of relaxation i have pink out here but i don't have any more plain water actually there's some in here let's put the put this in there okay Okay, let me pour this in and we'll make pink. Okay. Pretty. Okay. You want plain water in there? There you go. A color. Colors. Okay. 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 I want to share a couple Amazon favorites with you guys. I ordered a lot of stuff right before our trip and some things just really stand out to me as favorites that I love so much so I wanted to share. And one of them is this travel bag. So. I decided I wanted to bring one toiletry bag for the whole fam instead of like three separate ones. So I was looking at bigger ones on Amazon and I found this one and the color is so pretty. It's literally the prettiest shade of pink and I love the stripe down the center. I feel like it looks very high end and nice, but the way this opens is what makes it so amazing. So I'll open it up. Okay, so it opens up like this and it has the hook at the top. If you like that, I feel like I never really use those, but you can just loop it through there if you're not using it um, but the way this opens up and gives you this view of everything is what makes the bag so awesome it has all these like elastic straps and pockets so that all your little bottles and products stand up straight and then there's like the nice window here so you can see everything so all the products just stand up perfectly nothing's like on top of each other it keeps it so organized and i i love this bag so much i've had so many travel bags in my life and this one's by far the best so there's little zipper pockets at the top for smaller things and then a larger pocket on each side so here's what the side pocket looks like you could put makeup brushes in here i put like our contacts and stuff in the side but it's coated so if you want to put your brushes in here it wipes off easily I just think not only is it like the cutest bag, but it's the most functional too. And it comes in a couple other colors, but this pink is gorgeous. So wanted to share that with you guys. It's a really reasonable price as well. So I'll link this and everything else below. And then the next thing that I got that I really love is this travel white noise machine. So if you are a mama and if you're going on a trip or just for life, really, you need one of these. It's so convenient to have a little white noise with you if your baby falls asleep. While you're out and about i like that it has the hook so you can hook it on your stroller if you want but i love the sound options on here and it was under 15 dollars, so i feel like this is something we'll get a ton of use out of our power actually went out not that long ago so we couldn't use her hatch um, while at home so i just pulled this out and used this so i feel like it's just super nice to have on hand okay and last favorite purchase that i've been wearing literally every single day since i got them are these target sunnies they're like 15 dollars. i love the shape they look similar to my longchamp ones that were way more expensive but i got these right before our vacation they're a matte black um, with silver arms but i think the matte black looks so good and they're just like the perfect size they're not too big i don't like super super oversized sunglasses anymore so i feel like these are a really good size um really affordable and just really cute okay friends i was gonna vlog to kroger and looking at flowers but i think i'm gonna wait and do that tomorrow now so 
I'm gonna end the vlog here. We eat some cookies outside on the deck, hang out with the fam. I'm about to get some snacks. Just go chill in the gazebo until we eat dinner. So I'll share flowers and stuff with you guys in the next vlog. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you really soon. Bye.